Um, okay, it's time to turn our attention uh, to the next Super Bowl, Super Bowl 59. Uh, Gail Benson has done an amazing job of, uh, once she got the award of the Super Bowl, putting together the right kind of community support and leadership in New Orleans. Um, this is New Orleans, I believe, 11th Super Bowl, which uh, ties with Miami for the most Super Bowls ever hosted. Pretty good. Uh, and we are so excited about being back in the Crescent City, so uh, look forward to that. Um, this is a leap year, so you are fortunate you get one extra day to prepare. <laughs> one more than that. That's pretty good also. Um, so I think it's 363 days until um, Super Bowl 59 begins. And we got a quick video to show you a little bit about the preparations and uh, the excitement that's building in New Orleans. I don't need to tell you the Super Bowl in New Orleans are synonymous. A match made in football heaven. We put our stamp on the game and headline the early days of the halftime show. Super Bowl IV, our first to Lane Stadium. Back two seasons later for Super Bowl VI, man in a fedora. Dallas takes down Don Shula's Dolphins. Super Bowl IX, fresh off the immaculate reception. The steel curtain rolled in and rolled over the Vikings. Super Bowl XII, first Super Bowl in the dome. First Super Bowl played indoors. And the first in prime time, Dallas Downs Denver. Super Bowl XV, who can forget Al Davis? Just win, David. Puckett on a straight drop back. Rolls on the move. Super Bowl 20, the Bears. The Shuffle, nominated for a Grammy. Maybe winning the game in this music city was destiny. Super Bowl 24, Montana and Rice lead the 49ers to the second straight championship. Super Bowl 31, Five and the Packers bring the Lombardi Trophy back to title town. This is what it's all about, winning a championship, the greatest moment of your life. Super Bowl 36, Everything changed after 9-11. We were united in the dome, around the city, and across the country. The Patriots have won Super Bowl 36. Super Bowl 47, Baltimore, the Brothers Bowl. Jacoby Jones, and look at him go, pass the 50, and he is flying! The Super Bowl belongs to Baltimore. I want to thank the, uh, the city of New Orleans for what is just a spectacular way to celebrate. I've never seen anything like it. Ten Super Bowls in the books. Next up, 59. So we look forward to being there. Uh, Mrs. B, come on up and take the podium. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Good morning, everyone. And first, I'd like to congratulate the Kansas City Chiefs for an incredible job yesterday on winning Super Bowl 58. It was so thrilling to watch to the very end. Congratulations also to the Las Vegas Raiders and the Las Vegas Host Committee for putting on a truly wonderful Super Bowl 58. Those of us here today are all thrilled to be in Las Vegas representing the New Orleans Saints and the Super Bowl 59 host committee. New Orleans is no stranger to the Super Bowl. This will be our 11th Super Bowl hosted in our great city of New Orleans and the sixth in the Caesars Superdome. We all know from experience that New Orleans is unquestionably the best place in the country to host a major event, especially the Super Bowl. Simply put, it's what we do. Hosting the Super Bowl 59 will be another invaluable opportunity to show off what makes our city and state such a unique and celebrated host venue. 
Just like our New Orleans Saints fan base, they show up every Sunday to cheer on our home team. And we look forward to welcoming thousands of fans, sponsors, medias, and volunteers in celebration of the big game. Hosting the biggest sporting events in the world takes great team effort and participation from our entire community. And I'm confident we will pull together, as we always do, to deliver our guests from around the country and world the greatest experience possible. Holding an event of this magnitude also takes tremendous organization, planning, and of course, great leadership. I am proud to stand here among the leaders on stage with me, who will ensure a phenomenal Super Bowl 59 in February of 2025. Thank you to the NFL for entrusting us with this responsibility. With our years of experience matched with our city's unique hospitality, we promise to deliver an unforgettable Super Bowl experience. Now please join me in welcoming Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungessa. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Benson. Two places we should never have an early press conference, Las Vegas and New Orleans. <clears throat> Uh, I want to thank the city of Las Vegas and the Las Vegas Raiders. What a gracious host. We had a great time. The people have been incredible. And I'm thrilled to stand here today with the New Orleans Super Bowl host committee as we accept the major responsibility in hosting the Super Bowl 59 on February 9, 2025. The city of New Orleans has a rich history of hosting Super Bowls. I remember those 85 Bears and the 46 defense being there in the dome, an incredible time. And it's easy to remember what happens on the field. But it, we all know it's the team behind the scenes that worked diligently on the moments to make that Super Bowl special as they did here in Vegas. And I'm proud to work alongside the Super Bowl 59 host committee to bring yet another Super Bowl to the city of New Orleans and the state of Louisiana. This team knows the ins and outs of hosting a Super Bowl. And I'm confident we'll pull together an unforgettable Super Bowl experience. Our renovated Superdome, our great Louisiana seafood, our music, but most importantly, it's our people. We treat strangers like family. You'll leave with a friend for life, and that will make Louisiana a special host destination. We are built to host events like the Super Bowl. So I can't wait for to put our city and state on display to welcome visitors from all over the world. And Mr. Commissioner, thank you so much for entrusting on New Orleans to once again host. And now I'd like to welcome our mayor, the great city of New Orleans, Mayor Cantrell. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, good morning. good morning. And listen, it is such, such an exciting time for the city of New Orleans. And the city of New Orleans is ready to provide a one-of-a-kind experience, unique only and the culture only that you can feel in the city of New Orleans. Super Bowl 59 at the Caesar Superdome for 2025, I'm telling you, will be second to none. You cannot just pull this together. It takes a real team of partners, and it really starts with not only having a fantastic New Orleans Saints and ownership with a world-class woman, I tell you, of substance, elegance and real grace. Thank you so much, Ms. Benson. Give it up for her. Absolutely. Also, as it relates uh, to our host committee, the commitments from our local sponsors, of course, our world-renowned hospitality and tourism industry, and of course, our hardworking city employees, including our first responders at every single level, the thousands of city employees, and most importantly, thousands of volunteers that are waiting, waiting to showcase and provide that hospitality to all of our visitors coming to the great city of New Orleans. And not only that, you know, the NFL has always embraced the culture of our city. But looking at this logo and understanding that a local artist has beaded it, 
let me tell you, thank you so much. But it also speaks to how the NFL has been a part of our city, not just with this being our 11th Super Bowl, but even coming on 2025, we will be focusing on the resilience of the city, coming back better than ever before, that 20 years since Hurricane Katrina, but NFL has been solid in our recovery. And we're looking so forward to showcasing our resiliency, our sustainability, but most important, the people of our great city rooted in the culture of the city of New Orleans. So thank you so much again. The city is ready and we are prepared. Thank you. Uh, good morning. I'm Marcus Brown, and I am the chair of the host committee for the Super Bowl 59 in New Orleans. First, I'd like to congratulate my counterpart, Maury Gallagher, Executive Director Sam Joffrey, and the entire Las Vegas host committee. This has been a magical week. Las Vegas is a one-of-a-kind city, and we commend you for knocking it out of the park, or the stadium, in a, in a world-class Super Bowl. But now, the focus is on New Orleans, but we are no stranger to being on the world stage. There are good reasons why the NFL has chosen New Orleans as a host committee 11 times, from our spicy Creole food to our rich music and entertainment culture, and of course our Southern hospitality. We are built to host the hundreds of thousands of people who will come to our city for Super Bowl 59. It's what we do. And we are excited to have the privilege to do it again next year. Now, we have already established committees filled with some of, our, some of Louisiana's best and brightest leaders to ensure that our 11th Super Bowl is the most memorable yet. We are privileged to have the experienced team of the Greater New Orleans Sports Foundation, led by Jay Cicero, its pres president and CEO. And of course, our host committee leaders, including Dennis Lausha, Ben Hales, David Sherman, Sheriff Paul Valto and Philip Sherman and the rest of our subcommittee members. And a very special thank you to the heartbeat of our city, Ms. Benson. Your vision, your vision and passion for New Orleans and the state of Louisiana make all this possible. Additionally, I'd like to thank our citywide and statewide partners for their early and vital support. Many of whom are here today Walt Leger of the New Orleans and Company, Lisa Alexis of the New Orleans Tourism and Cultural Fund, Doug Thornton and his team at AS, ASM Global, Walter Krogowski and the team at the Louis A. Armstrong International Airport, Mike Sawaya with the Memorial Morial Convention Center, and Devin Barber with the Downtown Development Di District. And again, our appreciation to our Mayor Latoya Cantrell and Lieutenant Governor Billy Nunn Gesser. Finally, I'd like to acknowledge my company, Energy Corporation, led by our Chairman and CEO, Drew Marsh. We have served the people of the Southeast region for 100 years, and we know firsthand that New Orleans is unmatched when it comes to showcasing the creative hospitality that will ensure that both locals and visitors have an unforgettable experience. New Orleans, Las Vegas has set a high bar, and the baton has been passed to us. It's up to us now, and we're excited about the opportunity. So in just 363 days, we expect to see you in the streets of the French Quarter and in the seats of the Caesar Superdome. We are ready to go. Thank you.